you have to think ahead when you're overtaking slower class cars. Because basically when you pass the car, you want to be already flat out, full throttle. It's important to know where to pass, where you're not going to lose too much time passing. And sometimes rushing a pass might lose you more time down the straightaway after that. So it's, uh, it's very important to think ahead. But quite frankly, when you have an opportunity to pass, you've got to seize it. What of a lot of rookies do, they tend to rush up to the traffic behind and get stuck behind them in the middle of the corner. And then when they get out of the corner, they don't have that momentum anymore. So then they lose a lot of time on the following straight. So what I always try and do is I try and anticipate where I will catch the traffic. I normally try and back off just before the corner and then carry the momentum through the corner and then pass him onto the following straight with that momentum. Ideally, you'd overtake them at the exit of the corners without losing any minimum speed. Sometimes you have to commit to outbreaking them on the, on the entries. If you can catch them on the banking, even better, you know, that's where you want to do it because it, not only you get a massive tow, which is good and helps your straight line speed, but only, you know, there's less risk. Outbreaking is normally one of the more risky ones, I would say, in, a, in an endurance race because, you know, if you outbreak, so you don't know exactly when traffic's going to break, you don't know who's in the car, you don't know how they're going to react. So that's a very risky one. That's normally one that you do when the team's really telling you, you need to take a risk, you need to make up some positions. You always have to be patient. You've got to be smart. When you're young, it's hard to understand that. You know, when you're young, you're fast, you're aggressive, it's hard to take that mindset, but it's important. In a situation where you've been following a car for quite some time, you just have to keep digging and, uh, you know, be determined to, to get your way through. And the most important is don't get frustrated by the situation and just keep looking for it. Otherwise, frustration sometimes builds into clumsy accidents. Sometimes you have just a situation, the wrong corner, somebody leaves the door open, you go in, he doesn't even see you, turns in, boom, you have an incident. It's all in your head really and you have to measure your distance well and uh, you can use traffic to your advantage. I think if you're clever you can really use it well and uh, because everyone's going to have it. You know, you, 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 you always think you're being unlucky with catching slower cars but the reality is, you know, everyone catches them. With passing it's a bit of a yeah, mystery sometimes. You, Either have some stints where everything went very smooth, you know, and you get the cars exactly where you need them on the straight or uh, before the corners, and you have some stints where everything goes wrong, and you always get traffic in uh, the most important corners. I find it's it's good to to set up a pass at these corners because maybe the car in front is expecting this, so you 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 make them defend into one corner then you can get runs out of the passing corners so it's not just the big braking zones it's thinking about where you're going to pass maybe two or three corners turns down the line sometimes you you try to confuse the guy in front uh taking the sleeve stream go on the inside or the outside and then suddenly change on the other side and then just commit to that line i really like to cross to double cross as well you know Whenever you try to attack someone, he tries to block you inside. So you go on the wide side and then he's struggling to exit and then you cross him on the exit. I like that one a lot. Sometimes you just need to feel the moment of the pass. Sometimes if you make up your mind that you're going to pass in a certain spot, it's you know difficult like, and clumsy. But in other points, sometimes you, you do a pass which is a bit unexpected as well. There's a real art of keeping the cars behind you but still trying to manage the traffic correctly. It's something that sometimes you get right, sometimes you get wrong, but the more you do it, the better you get at it. It's a give and take and I think you have to respect everybody out there. Uh, even the smallest car, you know, is fighting on the limit of the, of the grip. You cannot just expect everybody to move out of your way. But that's the game, you know, that's the game and that's the, the, the game of chess that we play out there on the track.